Hi guys, Element here with another video. This time, I'm writing an open letter to Bungie for a few things I thought we could use in Destiny. I'll be outlining a few mechanics that would be interesting to see in the game, so without further ado, let's begin. Dear Bungie, Give us synthesis crates. I see that you guys are trying to deal with ammo issues by placing certain crates in certain areas of a strike, but this could easily be remedied by having Banshee sell us synth crates. These would be very expensive and require weapon parts, plus glimmer, and possibly another currency to purchase. The idea is that people will be carrying about 5 of either type of ammo and would be able to drop them for the fire team to use and refill their ammo. There would be a cooldown on using these, but it allows for its use to be shared among the fire team. Elemental Forging there's a lot of RNG involved in getting our weapons now, and with reforging a distant past, we have so many specs about our weapons that we have to contend with when it comes to RNG. So when we get a certain weapon that we like, it may not have the perks that we wanted, thus making it kind of useless. Uh, if you are at all familiar with RNG, then you know that it can be a nuisance. Perhaps we could forge an elemental property onto a weapon using certain materials, like Spin metal, spirit bloom, helium filaments, or relic iron. Weapon parts, and five of a rare item that would drop randomly in raid off of bosses without a weekly cap. This would give people reason and incentive to run multiple times, and the rarity of the item, in addition to the cost, would make elemental forging a somewhat necessity and less of a luxury. Next we have encounter design. I think I'm safe in summing up every single boss encounter in Destiny thus far. Ads, Mechanic, Ads, DPS Boss, Ads, More Ads, Repeat. There are far too many encounters in Strikes and Raids in which we are dealing with ads. To name a few from King's Fall, actually all of them, War Priest is ads, Glyph Sequence, Boss, Bubble Guy Kills ads, Repeat. Golgoroth is ads, shoot bubble, acquire gaze, boss, repeat. Daughters, ads, platforms, ads, branch steel, boss, DPS, ads. Finally, Oryx, ads, platforms, ads, DPS, or... Okay, the point is that there are way too many ads in every single encounter. What's stopping you guys from making meaningful encounters in which the toughest part about it is executing and perfecting mechanics centered around the boss? We need more bosses where we are fighting the boss exclusively and overcoming the boss's abilities and maneuvers. I'd love to fight a difficult boss where the boss himself is making things difficult instead of having ads come out every intermission. With that said, we need more interesting weapons for our enemy mobs. One word. Explosive. We've got beam rifles, tracking shots, and then explosives. Every single enemy in the solar system of Destiny has explosive rounds. I find myself always scrambling for cover from huge doses of splash damage. No matter who I'm facing, they're all shooting something that splashes co over cover or requires me to run a mile away just to recover. Let's go Bungie. You can do it. This has been an open letter to Bungie. Sincerely, Element of Destiny. If you guys have any additional ideas that you think would make Destiny better, leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you agree, and I'll see you next time. Tanix has no house. He kneels before no banner. Owes allegiance to no Kel. He is a murderer, and very good at what he does. I have been tracking him since wolves broke their chains, yes? Now Tanix works for Wolfpack, but not for long.